guys, it's Peggy from the Paper Bumblebee. Today I wanted to just journal in my in my um, personal planner actually for where I plan all my stuff. So I have used um, a kit from Barbara and I wanted to do some stuff with her kit again. I have downloaded all her uh, ephemera and clip art from this month and it's all buddies and I will link everything down below I also have a discount code you can use I have linked everything down below so the first thing that I wanted to do is make a paper clip out of this uh, little banner. So I was thinking of just using some book pages. And I need a paper clip. Just gonna tear some stuff quickly, some pages actually. And not too hard. Like this and then fold in half. And then put your paper clip on there. And I'm just gonna do that again. I'm gonna cover the paper clip. So let's, let's glue that down. I'm just going to use some tacky glue. Other side. Now we've got our hidden paper clip in there and I wanted to back this guy up for it's really flimsy I just printed this on normal printer paper and let's just sturdy that up maybe just back it up with some uh, normal book pages as well is easier and quicker. Okay, it's not what I want. Just extra piece off there. Ground espresso, nice and dark. And now I want to glue it on here, but I'm going to do I'll glue a piece of cloth underneath there, cheesecloth. 
Um, just gonna get a bigger piece. I've discovered I love that look and it sturdies the little uh, piece of cloth as well or a piece of uh, ephemera I meant. Just cutting this. pieces there we go. okay so I'm loving that I'm just gonna put some gilding wax on me Letters. I'm just going to take my woody okay. Let's try that quickly so I found these little flowers and I thought maybe if I put just one of these flat little flowers on me, it would be cute. So for that, some dimension, I love that. And I might even do some white splatters as well. I'll just take some tipex. And you get some cute white splatters. I might even do some gold on these petals of this little flower. Just a bit. I've got that, so now we have to see if we can find a, a little place for it. So I've got let's see. I was thinking of putting it on here. we can do this page a small one so I'm thinking of um, using some of Barbara's different uh, the, the back pages or the kit pages Put some of that some of these just let me show you all these are so pretty Love the little flowers, and she used her eco dye or eco printed uh, pages on the back, and loving these. 
really love these. Gorgeous. Gorgeousness. There you go. So now we have to see which page. I want something with a birdie. Just because I think they are so cute. Can do an orange bird. I'm not going to do this one, for it's the same as that one. Um, this is cute, but it's looking the wrong way. This one as well. Ooh, I love this. I think this is too big. That's a possibility. I'm not going to do this one, for it's the same as that one. And then this one. Ooh, this is also really beautiful. Mm. I think I'm going to go for this. Love this one. Mm. I'm just going to do this. on there but then you can see it's smaller mm -hmm. so like this That's cute. Just debating if I should tear this. I think I will. Just glue that down like so. Just want to try something quickly. Take some glue. this page and I'm just gonna spray this so that it's wet and crinkle this and then carefully going to glue that on here Barbara has done this before, I have done this before, I saw this from Barbara a couple of times, I've done it before as well, it's really a nice method to get a crinkly little piece of paper, I actually wanted to put this underneath here. Going to quickly glue that underneath there. There we go. Now I 
looks like sort of a napkin. So I'm just going to dry that. Okay, I think that's quite dry. So I'm just going to take some gilding wax and go over where I have got the creases. And Barbara has done this and called it something. I don't know. I'm just having fun. That's cute. And then I'm going to go around the edges. Simple and easy, maybe some splatters. Let's see. just trying to make it more like I think I'm going to do that on the bottom there just let that dry quickly and maybe we could even do some of this So cute. So I'm gonna do some of this these threads on here. And they just from leftovers from the cheesecloth I I cut or tore. I mean, this lace is self-adhesive. Let's see, maybe I should do some glue on there. So I'm loving that. So now maybe we can do just something over there. Actually, looking for a little tap or something on this. Maybe cheesecloth. That, that might work. A piece of cheesecloth. Whoops. So that's cute. So 
So we've done the little paper clip, loving that. And we've done this little page. I should have made it into a pocket. But I'm loving how it looks and how it feels. It gives it like a really old, old feel and look. Maybe you can't see it on here. It's really cool. Okay, so checking on this little paper clip and when I flip it, it's all, I'm just putting this here for I wrote some stuff there that's personal. And I've got this paper clip all blank on the other side. So let's decorate that a bit. We can take it off and just quickly ink that. And I'm just wondering, just checking what will go with this. So we've got some yellow and we've got some orange. This I thought maybe this little birdie, but okay, it's got the yellow. But that's it. There's no blues, there's no pinks. So that's maybe an option. Or we can do this one. And then we've got the orange here, and we've got the orange here. But still no pinks and blues. So I'm mm, debating. Or we could go for a smaller one. Again, the orange, the blue, that's a no. And the orange and blue. That might also be cute. What else have we got? We can use a tag on there, but it's a bit big. I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm just going to um, ink around it. I think I'm first going to back this up. So I'm just going to take my book off there. I'm just going to back this up first. It's really flimsy and I want it a bit more sturdiness. around this leave a little border okay and then we can ink around the whole thing just now before I backed it up okay then we've got our paper clip but I'm going to put some cloth cheesecloth behind that as well so think like this Little 
Justin. Put it in B, and then we can see if we can put some something else underneath there. Um, I've got some German book pages. Really loving these, and I'm treasuring these as much as possible. And I could even do maybe some brown paper for some contrast. of that cheesecloth, uh, the bottom part. So I'm loving this, all these layers, all the cheesecloth in between the layers this on the one side and then this on the other side to glue that quickly and that's all what we are having time for today I was just thinking before I say goodbye something missing and I'm I know what a word or a sentence or something and I've got just the right thing I ordered this last week I got it and I love it and I've just got to figure something out a saying or something to put on here now let's see what should we do I'm just gonna have a think I think I know. I'm gonna do love life. Whoops, there we go. And I'm loving this for it's got dimension. I've got another one and it's all flat and I thought I'm missing something and that's it. This is giving some more texture and some more layers and I can't explain it. It's just, there we go. And it's underneath there and I'm loving it so I hope you like it too give a thumbs up if you did and till next time bye